recording. So welcome everybody. Welcome to the um, the podcast tonight. And this is Hot Song Podcast. Um, and so the topic for this evening is dealing with emotional pain. So we talked about how to deal with physical pain last week. And pain is such a big topic. Um, so I want to talk about more emotional pain and how emotional pain can contribute to the our physical pain as well. Because um, in case you're not sure, in case you you don't know yet, is that like <clears throat> like I'm I'm not just saying this because I'm a spiritual person or I I, I like to work with energy. But even science has already mentioned that is that we are actually um, a human body. We it's actually made up of electricity. It's we are we are electrical beings, and when so our emotions actually the way our emotions is is it actually um, causes our energy to flow in a certain pattern so that it no longer flows in a pattern that is normal for the body. And when that happens, then and you you leave that and you don't resolve that long enough, then it will start to become a um, physical thing. So if you don't deal with your emotional issues long enough, um, it will start to um, represent itself like, mm, manifests itself as either arthritis or it could be pain in um, some part of your body so that um, it's the body is doing that not to um, it's not to spite us it's nothing like that but to just to let us know remind us that there is something we haven't quite resolved in our mind yet in our heart yet so we need to look into it so that really is what the message of body is so and um as opposed to the last couple of weeks i've been doing a lot of talking tonight i'm i'm actually not planning to do much talking i'm actually planning to do more um practical energy work However, you know, in, in the beginning, I just want to mention um, something is that um, it's, it's really the, if you look into a lot of the physical um, pain, um, the underlying is, is really, there is some emotional component to it. Um, you pretty much can be sure of that and sometimes our like even though the physical pain may be due to let's say a result of an accident or let's say we we um you know, like we we actually into a car accident or whether we drop something on our feet however just just want to let you know that there's no such thing as um, an accident. Accident, things do not just happen. It happens because we or our consciousness allow it to happen. And, and so even when it is an actual physical accident, it's because there is something in our emotional um, makeup that chose to have that experience. So um, that's why when we look at the emotional part, um, we actually can clear, at least when we clear the emotional part, we can clear the underlying pattern that supports the continuing um, experience of pain. Um, and a lot of the times if we don't hold the emotional pain than the physical pain, the body would be able to heal itself and then the physical pain would go away. Um, like depending on how robust your body may be, if you if you are young, then the body will heal itself quickly enough. 
unless you have a um an idea that you know you have to suffer then your body would manifest these things for you to experience that suffering it's it's amazing um unbelievable that 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 can happen however um in a lot of the cases that is what's going on <clears throat> so what else do i want to say about the let's see what else do i want to say about the emotional pain oh um the other thing about pain is is that our body heals. I think I might have talked about it last week, but I'm going to repeat it because it's really worth repeating, is that our body functions in a kind of predictable way. So the body has a way to heal itself, has a way to... Um, handle any kind of trauma or physical trauma to the body so we don't have to know how to do that we don't have to know how to um close a wound the the body knows how to close a wound like if you have a cut um the body would heal itself you don't have to know anything you don't have to be a medical doctor for that to happen your body does that all by itself and that's because there is a kind of like a, a blueprint for the body to heal itself under normal circumstances. However, when your consciousness is at a different level, your body actually functions at a different level as well. That's why a lot of the times when you have a consciousness shift to a higher consciousness, um, as for example, a, a lot of times like... Um, near-death experiences can facilitate that consciousness shift. And when that happens, your body actually can heal at a completely different level that um, it's unbelievable. Um, you may be having you know, late-stage cancer, but when you consciously decide that I, I'm like make that shift of consciousness to something else, you actually would be able to um, <clears throat> heal yourself so much faster. Like, uh, you no, know, even if you're end stage cancer, like your body would be uh, like, even if all the doctors has, is telling you, okay, go home. There's nothing we can do for you. But even if that happens, though, um, the body knows how to reverse all of that because of a shift in consciousness. So um, our body actually has a few levels of healing. So just want to throw that out is um, at a normal level of consciousness, your body heal normally like anyone else but at a different level of consciousness your body heals 10 times better better maybe even more so how do we access that so that's that's something that to that's something to explore and um so so far any um questions comments Yeah, yeah. I, I just wanted to mention, I, I heard that, um, you know, the tarot cards that we get, the, the package of the tarot cards that are out there, when consciousness is higher too, the tarot cards work differently, apparently. I don't know, because I'm not, I'm not knowledgeable about them, but I just thought that was kind of related. <laughs> yeah. Who knew? Yeah. You know what, that, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> My I, assumption I is, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. My assumption is that you are going to explain to us now how to reach that 
level to heal 10 times faster or try to attempt to anyways. <laughs> I mean, that's a huge task. That's that's a huge task. Is, but you yeah. could you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> I can try. <laughs> I don't okay. know whether I. That's like, good it's enough. Really, it's not. It's um. I should say that I can. I can. I can. I am still trying to access that myself as well. Um, and it, like I, I've I've mentioned um. A, a couple of things about how like last year my 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 left foot was not or my left ankle was not behaving properly and I was experiencing some pain so that um and I I was um I was able to shift that experience so so that's um I don't think I'm have completely or 100 percent heal it all the time because it really depends it comes and goes so there are days when i absolutely don't even feel a thing and then there are days when i can feel it so yeah so there there are different levels our our body fluctuates and i think um, part of it is our emotions as well so i do find that um the emotional part is very um dependent on that as well so that's why I want to do some tweaking of our emotional um the ground that our emotions are, are on because I we there is there are fields there are fields um what are those called um quantum fields <clears throat> for example, if I am if I'm so I'm Chinese, then there is a field of energy that all people that have some Chinese um, background in their in their genetic material would be a part of. And then um, so that's one field that that my body is a part of. And then being in Canada, being physically in Canada. So the Canadian uh, quantum field also impacts me. And then um, being, a, so age group also would impact as well. And um, so, and so all of those things, we all have different, we, we all have influences from different quantum fields. And that's one way, and but that the reverse is also true, is when we resolve something. So when I resolve something in myself, I I know that I also impact the quantum field, like all the quantum fields that I am a part of. So that's why that's um that's the really the the the, the reason why um. People like people who call themselves light workers, they do work on themselves. Is because when when I work on myself, yes, I whatever work that I I do on myself, it also impacts everyone else as well. So that's that's the the power of these quantum fields. So my my question is, I heard that when you do the energy work for somebody, it, it's it comes easy. If you do same work for yourself, is it hard? Because they say if you have to heal yourself, you have to go to the healer. Like if if you do healing on yourself, you can do a little bit, but then. It will be more impact if you go to the healer. Is it true? Not really. I I don't believe that. Okay. I do not believe that. There is no healer that can heal you um, unless you allow them to. 
and really part of the healer's job is to convince you or hold the space for you to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. so like Sifu James can be as powerful as he can be. But if, you know, if he works on somebody who does not want to be healed, then there is not too much that he can do. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, and also if you want to heal yourself, if you, if you are determined to heal yourself, um, even the most powerful sorcerer, mm -hmm. for lack of a better name, cannot prevent you from healing yourself. No matter how much black magic they throw at you, you would you would still be able to um, find the right way, find the, the, the steps to heal yourself. Mm -hmm. It may take you a little longer if you have a lot of like resistance, if there's a lot of resistance. So I... A lot of the times, the reason why we needed healers to heal us is because we we have given our power away. So when you when you have so little power, um, you don't believe that you can do the healing on yourself. Then, like if that's the case, then you need to. If you still want to heal, then you have to find a way, like create that healing story and and. And that's when you need to find the right healer who would be able to assist you in healing. But um, when you empower yourself, when you know that, you know, yeah, when you, when you know that you have the power and you are willing to bust open whatever the emotional blockage may be, mm -hmm. then, yep, you, you can heal yourself. <clears throat> and you don't you may need to take medication you may need to take herbs you may need to do you know a lot of like a series of things in order to heal yourself but that's part of the journey mm -hmm. um, the most important thing is you empower yourself thank you so um may i add something Absolutely, go ahead. Things about the healing, you can take herbs and things, but you've got to put your intention on it too. If you put that intention that it's helping you and it's going to do good for you, and you're in gratitude, it will work faster. Like you bless your food, you bless everything, so you bless your supplements also. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. It's um healing is okay. So um it's really about putting your intention. So you have to have a goal of how do you want, how do you want your body to feel? Have an intention. Once you have an intention, or some some people may call it a goal, um, then know how you want to feel. Um, you know how. So, what it is that you want to achieve, and then once you have the intention, then you will know what's in your way because you know <clears throat> it's like if you don't put a an x it, on a piece of paper if you don't if you don't place an aim at where you're going you will never know what the um obstacles are going to be and a lot of the times the obstacles is ourselves for example, if you say, okay, uh, if I say, okay, I want to absolutely um, be able to, let's say, run a marathon, 
for example, it, when I can run a marathon, then I know I'm I'm a hundred percent um cured for for myself. For example, I'm not saying that's that's my goal, but like how do I know I'm I'm healed when I can run a marathon? Then I know for sure that, that you know I'm healed. Then once I have that goal, then the 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 resistance will come in, I would say, oh, okay, but but how how can I, you know, like once you have a goal, then you all the resistance will will show up. So um when you notice the resistance showing up, that's when you um write it down. You it's it's about knowing what your resistance are. When you know what your resistance are, the resistance could be, you know, um, limiting belief. Maybe I say, uh, maybe one of the limiting believers, you know, you know, at my age now, running a marathon, you know, who do who do I think I am? You know, I'm still a spring chicken. So if I have that thought, then I have to write it down because that's that's the resistance. That's a limiting belief in my field. Well, that is actually um, making sure that I cannot um, achieve that goal. And, and notice as well, as if I have that goal and all of a sudden I get sick, then that in itself is a resistance because I may not think it, but my body is showing up as an illness and then like that illness is what's in my way so our body has that that um ability it may not tell us it may not um show up as a limiting belief but it will show up as something for example it may show up as an illness or it may show up as all of a sudden Somebody, you know, a friend or a relative would say, "Hey, let's let's go to Malaysia, or let's let's go to Alaska, or, or wherever for a vacation." So, when you put down a goal, that's when all the the, um, the other excuses, reasons will show up, and yeah, those those excuses and reasons. Will show and notice that those are resistance and um, and then you can start to go to work. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, because whenever I want to, like the the last couple of days, I've been I've been trying to watch a um, re replay of of um, a certain lecture that I that I wanted to get. A better understanding on but every time I sit down it's like I need to go pee I'm hungry like oh, all of these resistance is coming up it's like okay I know it's resistance <laughs> I notice it so it's um so it's it's really um why why do we have these resistance it's our body is, um, there's a lot of conflicting agendas going on. So part of getting to what it is that we want, a healthy body is a goal. And then all of these resistance will start to come in and, and notice those resistance. Um, so um let's so any any questions so far because i'm if not i'm just going to jump into doing some energy work please thank you okay, okay. so <clears throat> um so how do we how do we do that so emotional pain um, I'm going to work on relationship with family because that usually is a big source of our emotional pain. 
um, even if I would say, yeah, it's far and few between that there are that that everybody or or somebody would have a family life where they are in good terms with all members of the family throughout their whole lives. So that's and uh, <clears throat> and and you guys know about me and my family, so. <laughs> So I've been working my, on myself a little about that. And I picked that as well because our relationship with our family is really the, the foundation of, um, of who we think we are, our identity. So if I can shift a little bit of, with that, then it may assist all of you to be able to look at um, your this is of of you know shifting your whole identity as well so perfect perfect topic i love it okay <laughs> yeah i think <laughs> i think most of you would be able to relate to this so um so everybody <clears throat> so let's 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 access that first so think of a relationship I pick family, but you can pick it with, you know, a friend or you, like whomever it is that you want. So, so pick a relationship that you would like to improve on. I just want to add that at this time, uh, even any kind of business relationship is 100 times more difficult than prior to certain events a couple of years ago. It's just <laughs> unbelievably hard. Uh, every, uh, yeah, um, very true, yes. So just pick a relationship that is giving you some grief. So access the emotional pain. Pain may not be the, the best word for it, but the, um, I, I would say the, uh, the emotional blockage. Okay. I can feel that we are all in that field. So good. So I want you all to um, to not think. So stop thinking about, you know, who said what. So it's not about thinking, it's about feeling. Feel the texture of that relationship. So feeling meaning that, uh, like, no words. So feel what it feels like. So kind of just have some idea what it feels like in this moment. Where do you feel it in your body? Or maybe you don't feel it in your body. Maybe you feel it somewhere outside. That's okay. Just notice where it is in relationship to your body. And then feel, is it warm? Is it hot? Is it cold? Is there a particular size to it? Is it a big size or a small size? Does it feel smooth or does it feel like there are um, things sticking out, like prickly or does it have angle? Like all these are different ways that you can feel that energy. Because that is a <clears throat> that is an energy pattern. So I just want to you all to feel that energy pattern. Yes. And before I start to do more with it. 
to notice what it feels like now so that when we're done, then you can have some idea of whether it has changed or not. So feel what it feels like in this moment. And remember, don't think, just feel. Concentrate on feeling. Okay, so let's start to do something to it. I felt a shift already. The sound. What I'm doing now is actually just scanning the scan, and then also clear out the disruptive energies. So what it feels like to me is that there is like it's kind of shifting and you all may have different feelings or a different way of experiencing this and it's perfectly okay. I feel actually I'm... it's another shift. Okay, so what I 
kind of saw and felt was kind of like a circling and then I felt a, a drop <coughs> dropping down more like dropping down into ourselves I actually saw a lineup of different doors. And I was asking, so which door should we go behind? Should we go open and take a look at behind in one of the door just open a little bit? So that's the one that we went through. And then I can see the water. The water kind of cleansing all of us.
And then now I could see we are all like sitting in a circle. I could see these rays of sunlight passing through our body, coming in. And these rays of light passing through our body is really assisting us in clearing the blockages within our body. So there's nothing that you need to do, simply focus on feeling. Have absolutely no expectation. Simply allow this energy to surrender to this energy to assist you. And I can see bubbles coming out of our bodies. It's bubbles on breaking up the density within our energy field.
Put us in that shift, big shift. A very calming shift this time. What it feels like is a surrendering. We are still shifting, but I just want to take this moment to just check in with everybody. How is everybody doing? Good, good. So for me, it's the beginning when you said, imagine the shape and um, um, whatever. I didn't feel that shape or anything, but I feel that my body doesn't want this energy and it trying to get rid of it. And then little by little, I feel calmer and calm and then it was neutralized. So... At the end, I feel, felt absolutely neutral. So I didn't feel that uh, emotion, what I wanted to get rid of. I feel calm and quiet. Yeah, I'm far from being calm and quiet. Like everything is in my stomach and in my lower back. Like it's, <laughs> everything came down. <laughs> much more than when we started. Okay, well, um, yeah, processing at different ways, so. So just stay on it. Remember, don't think about it, just feel it. Just notice it. This energy is working through you. I feel lighter. Okay, great. Thank you for sharing. I, I felt a, a, a prickly, not smooth source of energy, like sense of energy. And um, I don't feel the, the prickly now, but I got a blast of, of heat. I, just like I had a... Um, you know, like a um, hot flash, <laughs> and it, then it passed. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I felt pressure on my shoulders at the beginning. Now it's released. Okay, thank you. Thank you both for sharing. 
I felt very calm, so, so. It's still going on, right? Yep, it's still going on. Okay, that's another shift. It was a big release. I could feel it, I feel. And a lot more room, let's say.
another shift again. I feel a lot of light, bright light. Around all of you. And now I want all of you to just <clears throat> put the intention that you want to call on the zero point energy. The zero point is really a point where your own energy comes from. Who you truly are, and that energy stream comes from a zero. So activate your own zero point energy and allow the energy to come through you. into your whole energy field. And let go of needing to change anything. 
simply allow the zero point energy to come through you, your body. To shine a light. On all your unconscious and conscious. Thought patterns. Just allow this light. And from your zero point energy. to interact with your own physical body's energy field. And just surrender to that process. No need to have any sort of expectations. Just allow it to come through you because it is your own energy. So it has your best interests. Now that's zero point energy to shine a light on all of the energy field as interacting with you in this moment. And allow the zero point energy to continue to shine a light on you, on both the physical and the non physical parts of you. And then take a deep breath and come all the way back. Thank you, Dini. You are welcome. So, Zero point energy coming from the feet. Um, it comes from kind of around, yeah. Middle. Oh, it's from chest. I forgot. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So you still on? You're still processing. Not quite done yet, but I just want to check in with all of you now just to find out where everybody is at. When you said light around us for for the short period of time, I felt like Charlotte. I felt like my temperature of my body increased. And I started to sweat. It was so warm. But then it gone. Okay. <clears throat> you know, and at the end, I didn't feel it. So, Vinny, uh, you picked the right topic for me because about two weeks ago and a week ago, I had so much stress and so much anger through my work that I, I just couldn't deal with this. I, I And then I just, 
put all this pressure into my digestive system and I was in pain. I've been in pain for two weeks from that burst of anger and repetitive anger. Like when people are acting irrationally, as I find that some good people are acting super irrationally now, it just, just drives me like beyond I can't describe amount of anger and how badly that affected me. How are you doing now? I think I'm better. Okay. <laughs> At least I don't feel anger, you know, so physical should come, should follow. Phys physical improvement should follow. <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much for doing this. This was You're just welcome. It's um in intense times. The energy is intense. So just know that this is happening. And so um take care of yourself. If you feel you a lot of stress, then find a way to release the stress. You may, uh, I don't know what works for each one of you, so you have to find ways. If you find exercising may, may help, then do that. If you find going in nature, just taking a walk in nature helps, then please do that. It's, it's, it's not worth, because um, right now, more than any other time, you need your body. You need your body to be in good health to get through this period. So take good care of your body. If you need to, you know, go into a forest and yell at some trees to let some steam off, then please do that. I'm quite sure the trees will be okay. It will live. It knows how to <laughs> withstand all of it. So, yeah. Thank you, Winnie. Welcome. Thank you, Winnie. Thank you. And Thank you. And I and I just um. While you guys are all still processing, I just want to you know, let you all know that you know you can do this for yourself. So all you have to do is if you feel a this is this is not a process that you know only I can do. I'm so good. <laughs> no, any, every anybody can do it. So what you need to do is you so it's it's an energy pattern, whether it's anger or whatever or relationship. It's a it's an energy pattern. So you just have to put your hand on that energy pattern. By you can either um, think of the person if it's related to a person, or think of the situation. So once you your mind um, think of that, you're in connection with that energy pattern. Then then when you are in connection with that pattern, then you can change and shift that pattern. So what you do is don't think, because thinking will only um, make it worse. Because <laughs> So just go into your heart. Go into your heart, like, like um, so get connected with the pattern by thinking of the situation or the person or um yeah however way that you can connect with that energy pattern and then you just go into a <clears throat> um you just drop in drop into your heart so don't try to use your head to think through it when you're working with energy, your heart actually has a much bigger energy field. So use your heart. So drop into your heart and just let go of trying to control the, that energy pattern. 
just just observe it. So just feel it. And that's why I ask you all to feel it. Okay. Um, I have a few more tricks up my <laughs> sleeve. So the things that, so there, there are different things that I can do. However, just with all of you is, um, what you can do is bring in light. So I usually call on um, Archangel Shem, Shemiel, so Shemiel. So that is the Archangel of love, because love heals all wounds. So for me, that's, that's who I call on for emotional, dealing with emotional pain. If it's something that is, you know, about justice, then call on Archangel Michael. If it's uh, healing, then call on Archangel Raphael. So just call on higher, um, I would say, call on some higher help. Okay, and then call in light, as much light as you can imagine. So just imagine that there is a sunlight and it's bright sunlight, like um, July, summer day, sunlight so bring in that sunlight that the sunlight will start to interact with the energy pattern and just um don't try to have any expectation just bring in the help like the the higher energy and allow the energy pattern to start shifting because your own consciousness when you can just let go and step aside your own consciousness will shift the pattern anyways so that is that's what you do and then the last step is to just go to zero point zero point energy is really you but at a much higher um, energy level so allow zero point energy to step in to just shed a light on the energy pattern that you're trying to shift. So that's kind of the, the process that anyone can do. It's it's oh. fairly simple. Mm. How you spell Shemil, Archangel um, Shemil? C-H-A-M-A-E-L. Yep. <clears throat> so it's semi Shemael. Yep, Shemael. So mm -hmm. that's Archangel Shemael is the angel of love. Thank you. So that is a a process that anyone can just use. You don't need any special training, just, just follow that. Just access the pattern and then call on some higher energy to come in and just don't think. Because when you stop thinking, your consciousness would be able to come through. So your own consciousness would shift the pattern. And then the last step is um, zero point energy, bringing zero point energy to just shine a light on it. And then let go and just go back to your normal day. And then um, and then just notice the next day or the next hour, just notice how you feel about that situation or person. If it has shifted to um, a better, or, or to the degree that you you're okay with then let it go if not then you know do it again go through the whole process again in a couple of hours so in the next day or whenever it is that you feel you need you um have some time like it took us what maybe 20 30 minutes to do that then just give yourself that time to just access the pattern and shift it may be just a 
a very small shift each time, but it is a shift. And if you shift, if you make small shift often enough, it will become a big shift. So that's how we move a mountain, shift it one little bit at a time. Can you remind how you activate zero point? You say zero point activate? <clears throat> yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, zero point is, let me see. So you have, um, like there's um, a bone. There, there's a, a bone in front here that connects both sides of your um, ribs. So I think it's about, it's about maybe two fingers. So if you um, find the, the, the tip of it and two fingers up, that's where zero point is. So oh, two fingers on top? Higher yeah. than the end? About two fingers um, higher than the, the, the tip of that. Um, breastplate that yeah so it's it's around there okay so that's where the zero point within your body is thank Any you comments questions you are wonderful I agree. Thank you. You guys did a lot of good work. So just drink lots of water. Be very kind to yourself. And um, just take good care of your body. Like be very good to your body. Drink good water. Eat good food. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, Rini. Thank you. Thank you. You're most welcome. Um, and I was going to say that maybe um, inflammation, what I was talking about, you can work with that through this process. So, um, <clears throat> for inflammation, I would suggest that you... Um, Inflammation, think of inflammation as red. So use the color red. Okay, so just use your imagination, red. So wherever it is that is in your body, there's inflammation. Just imagine that the, that place is red. And then um, feel that part of the body. So inflammation, usually you would feel it as, you know, um, a throbbing. Okay, so just access that inflammation part. There may be more than one part of your body that is inflamed, but that's okay. You just have to focus on one because inflammation is an energy signature. As once you can access that uh, energy signature, then you can actually work with all the inflammation in your body. So just focus on one part, access that inflammation, and then do the same thing, is to just feel it. Feel what it feels like. Ask yourself, you know, how big, is, how big does it feel? Or how small does it feel? Does it have um, any feeling to it? The prickly or is it smooth or, or whatever feeling that you can um that you can 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 think of when you are in touch with that energy pattern and then for inflammation i would definitely call on um archangel Raphael, because that's the healing part so healing physical thing, Raphael, or anyone else that you resonate with. And then for 
that, then just observe it. Once you call in the, the energetic help, it's to simply don't think, but observe that. And your consciousness will take over and start to work with unraveling that pattern. And then same thing, just use zero point energy at the end. So that will, that like I would work on that, work on it like that. With inflammation, you also have to ask because inflammation is a natural body function. So ask your, so one more thing is to um, ask the body how it can harmonize the inflammation so that you know, the inflammation is part of a healing process. So how, ask your body to harmonize the healing process so that it is more comfortable for you. So set that intention. So that would be what um, I can contribute to that. Hope that helps. Thank you, Winnie. You're welcome. Thank you. Draga, I hope your situation improves really quickly. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So thank you very much, everybody.